Rugby World Cup, Pool B gets back underway tomorrow uh, with Italy taking on Canada. It is the opening game for Canada and uh, Italy have had a pretty short, uh, short turnaround playing Namibia on Sunday. So perhaps for Canada, this is about as good a chance they'll get in this pool to roll a tier one nation. Uh, but yeah, Italy have made a whole raft of changes. Uh, the Canadians got a few guys out and just generally all the predictions seem to be that it's going to be a relatively one-sided game in favor of the Italians. We will see how that goes. Um, but yeah, either way, it should be an interesting game to watch. I'll put the teams in the description so you guys can have a look. And remember that Italy are topping Pool B right now uh, with that big win over Namibia. But uh, they have made a whole bunch of changes for this game. Kind of makes sense. Short turnaround. Uh, Lavotti comes into the side in the front row at Loosehead. Biji continues on at Hooker. And Ferrari moves up from the bench to start as tighthead. CC continues on. Bud moves up from the bench. And he's captaining the side because Sergio Parise is getting a rest for this game. I guess that makes sense. That guy's not getting any, any younger. And uh, short turnaround. So probably a good time for him to have a breather with South Africa and the All Blacks on the horizon. Uh, Negri comes into the side on the blind side. Paul Edry moves up from the bench to open side. And Bram Stein continues uh, in the side. He is number eight. Uh, Braley comes into the side. He gets a start at nine. Interestingly, Tommaso Allen continues at 10. Uh, and he was pretty impressive in that game. But I thought this would be kind of a perfect game to give Carlo Kenna a run at number 10. It's just started raining. It's an absolutely horrible day here. Uh, but yeah, no, they've gone with Allen again. So maybe that's just building a, a bit of chemistry between, uh, between him and Braley. Not sure, but uh, either way, Kana continues on the bench. Same spot he was uh, last week. I mean, I guess last week, well, it was the because last week it was a Sunday. Kana did come on relatively early, like 50 minutes. So maybe it's trying to share the minutes relatively evenly. So it doesn't matter because he's not playing like 70 uh, midfield is Jaden Hayward and Campagnaro. So Campagnaro comes into the side and Hayward moves into 12 from 15. So that's a positional switch for him. Uh, the wings are uh, Bassini and Benvenuti. So that's totally changed from uh, last week where it was Bellini and Padovani. Although Bellini is on the bench and uh, Minozzi moves up from the bench to start at fullback. So yeah, it's a whole bunch of changes. And again, that's to, that's to be expected given the, the schedule that they are facing. Um, other guys on the bench, Palazzani, Kana, like I said, Mbanda moves to the bench. Rutsa is on the bench. He was man of the match in the last game. Quaglio is on the bench. So, yeah, they played in Namibia. Some of the guys need a rest. Uh, that's what they're doing here. For Canada, uh, the main guys I know, and I mentioned this in the squad preview, Tyler Ardron, he is captain at eight. That guy is an absolute monster of a player i love watching him here in super rugby interestingly there was a um a point made by one of the television shows here uh on on a rugby based television show basically saying that throughout the super rugby season the new zealand players who are playing in the all blacks uh were quite well managed in terms of their minutes making sure they had enough rest games but because Tyler Ardron was playing for the Chiefs and he's not a New Zealand player, they just thrashed him with as many minutes as they could. So uh, hopefully at the end of a long season, he is not uh, too tired, but he is an absolute class player. Can play second or can play uh, back row. He's at number eight for this one, captaining the side. DTH van der Merwe is at number 11. Uh, again, he is a proper class player, so I'll be interested to see those guys get a go. Disappointingly, Evan Olmsted has a foot issue, is what I read on the American Rugby News uh, website so he's not playing disappointed for me because I remember seeing him play when he was playing here in Auckland so uh, yeah the rest of the side Boydens, Howard and uh, Tierney in the front row Keys and Larson second row Shepard, Rumble and Ardron like I mentioned in the back row McCrory, Nelson at 9 and 10 uh, Blevins, Lesage in the midfield Parfrey, Hassler and Van der Merwe are the outside backs so yeah no Kylie Bailey no Olmstead, like I said and uh, Taylor Paris is not available either. So unfortunate for the Canadians not to have all their uh, guys available with the Italians on a short turnaround. And as I said, this may have been a chance to to threaten, but they are being relatively well written off by the predictions. Rugby forecast, the algorithm, 
has got uh, the Canadians going down to the Italians by 17 points. The bookies have it slightly more with Italy winning by 20. Uh, in terms of the last five games, Italy have won all five. Canada have beaten Italy before, but that was in 1983 and 2000. So it's been a long time between drinks uh, for the Canadians to get a victory over the Italians. That being said, though, I mean, these average of the last five games, uh, it's 32-13. But it's the two oldest of those last five games that really were quite one-sided. If you look at the most recent games in 2016 and 2015, it was a two-point margin and a five-point margin. So the Italians haven't been able to just run riot over the Canadians in recent years, but that was 2016, 2015. So again, uh, not the most recent of results. But hey, uh, it should be an interesting game. I'm looking forward to this one. You get, you guys let me know your thoughts on the game. How well do you think the Canadians are going to go? Do you think that the Italians will be the ones who start to tire towards the end of the game with the quick turnaround? Or do you think that'll kind of balance itself out? But um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.